Hey, hey, y'all, what's happening? Welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. I need some lotion on my hands. <laughs> Here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini, my lovely Gemini, and my beautiful collective. What's going on, you guys? I hope everybody's doing well. Sending likes, likes, lots of love. Healing energy, darlings, and tranquility, peace, and all that good stuff. This is why we're here. Yeah, to overcome the obstacles and challenges and balance that be out, right? So thank you, new, scri new subscribers, new subscribers, returning day ones, cross watchers. Everyone here is loved and welcome from all genders, ethnicities, colors, sizes, shapes, and all. Okay, we love you and accept you. And you're welcome here. Okay, and thank you for being here. I love you. Now, keep in mind, this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody, somebody, nobody, baby. We don't know. But just take the energies that happen to resonate and leave the rest. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Um, Somebody's heart is heavy for you. That's what I feel. I feel like someone, it could be your heart, baby. Okay, let's get the Gemini song because this is going to be something heavy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective. T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Oh Lord, okay, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tapping right in, Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Ascended Masters of the Highest White Light, Pure Love Only. What is going on in Gemini, Gemini's um, energy that they need to be aware of? What they need to know about? Like, what, what messages do you have for the angels? Well, my heart is heavy because I'm looking at this card and I, a child, they say, body had a baby or a son or daughter. And they want to know, will you ever forgive them? Okay. It's right here. Okay? This is somebody who you could have chased. Or, I don't know, child, it's, they ain't shining either. So, I feel like, honestly, from the cards that I'm looking at, too, because the Two of Cups, the Empress, and then the King of Swords. Okay, let me grab this really quick to show you. This is what I'm looking at. There could be a king of swords who's facing legal issues or court or either going through a divorce right now. They could have married this person that they had a baby by, okay? Or they got a lot of legal problems. They have a hard time making the right decisions, balancing out your life. This is a king of swords energy. Gemini, this is your energy. Gemini, Libra, and or Aquarius. There is a king of swords here who is heavy. His, their heart, his or her heart is heavy, Okay, over an empress because maybe they got somebody pregnant. But I feel like that they got somebody pregnant, but they looking at an empress as their two of cups as well. This could be a same sex relationship. It doesn't have to be. But this person, this whoever this person is, they're heavily burdened, heavy, heavy hearted because of something. There's some type of judgment or decision that's been made, possibly, yeah, about in the community. And somebody wants to move to calmer water. So I feel like somebody's getting divorced, okay? Or they're divorcing a family, something, with a woman, a, a man, and a child. They're going through a divorce at this time, okay? This could be any sign, anyone, anywhere from your past, but... It's the King of Swords energy or King of Swords. This could be you or somebody. I don't know. Shit. Because we, we got the karmics in here and then we got the high vibings in here as well. So that's why I'd be picking up those energies and I'd be like, I don't know. This could be you. I hope not. But I mean, this is a, there's swords. This King of Swords wants to six of swords back to um, this empress. But the thing is, we're, 
child, this is a sociopath. This is a sociopath. A psychopath, somebody very manipulative. This is Gemini for sure. Gemini, oh Lord have mercy. Child, you trying to get back to work on something with this Empress energy? This Nine of Pentacles abundant energy? But this person has had a transformation, sir or ma'am. The person that you want to go back to. So I'm picking up the karmic energy heavy. Okay, not so much high vibe. Your energy, your energy is over there in the corner with the Empress. Minding your own business, doing your own thing, balancing out your life and energy and those around you. Yeah, but this person, child, they done had a baby. They had a son, possibly a son. This is an older gentleman, by the way, an old man. Okay, an older gentleman in the background, this community. He got a son and then had it with a karmic person. Okay. Maybe they left. I don't know. I'm not going to go into all that spirit. But anyway, um, they say, why not? <laughs> this man wants to get back to you or this woman wants to get back to you to work things out. But they're very manipulative. Very extremely manipulative. Okay. They've been doing things in the spell book or they've been looking up stuff in the spell book. This person. Okay. Um, to get information or to persuade this nine of pentacles energy this is pre-empress i feel like when you left this person you were pre-empress but then when you did that final transformation and walking away completely and rebuilding your own life that's when you stepped into this empress energy male or female you could have stepped into this empress energy then it was at that time because god hid god hid you god hid you from this whoever person is Okay, because they're very manipulative. They're a user, a narcissist, a sociopath, a low key, high key, low. When you get the magician and the king of swords together, and this person is very cold and detached and manipulative. They could be an older person with stringy white hair, or they could be a younger looking person. They could do illusion magic to their looks to make them look like they're younger than what they really are. Okay, and they are doing work. Okay, or they want to come back to work on something with you. I don't know. We know now. Yeah, this, they want to show up as the king of cups now. Or you could have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio wanting to come. Okay. Nah. Mm -mm. This is the old ass energy. Okay, so yeah, you got somebody wanting to come to you. In disguise, very manipulative. It's probably another Gemini. Oh my God, I didn't see those right there. Spirit, what is this? Lovers, the two of wands, the knight, uh-uh. Oh no, honey. Wait a minute. And they in their head as well. So I don't know what the hell happened. I'm going to figure that part out. But the, the gist of it is whoever's coming back to you, whoever this sociopath, narcissist, psychopath energy is you're blocking them you don't give a damn this is somebody you're you're and this hasn't happened yet possibly or it's going to happen in the distant horizon you got your high alert you don't trust this person okay this is the gemini okay the gemini that i'm picking up okay you're trying to figure out which way you're going to go or should you go down that avenue you feel like you maybe you're very passionate about the person this well who's not passionate about the empress duh the person that you want to go back to, you're very passionate, but you're non-committal. You're in playboy energy or playgirl energy. Okay, you could be an older woman or a man. But whoever you want to go back to, they're, they've matured in a major way. Like I said, whoever my babies are, you were pre-emperor, pre-empress energy before you actually left. By you taking that leap of faith and moving forward with your life and closing out that cycle, that propelled you into the empress or emperor energy this person sees that and i say god hid that from them that aspect of you from that person because god wanted you to see this person's true colors okay you see them as this the knight of wands very non-committal very flighty very in and out they take a lot of action but just towards the wrong things no it's not in reverse but they can't keep their thing in their pants, okay? They gotta, They always got their panties or their drawers down in some form or fashion, child, okay? And they just disperse that, that so-called love all over the place. But you've leveled up and you've matured, okay? And you've ended something completely 
with this person. And also, for those of you, they possibly a mother figure that passed away. Okay, my condolences. Or there's a mother figure that's ill or sick at this time from some type of magic that they've done in the background. Okay, I don't know why her auntie or mother, cousin, older cousin, child, somebody's family member, somebody's family member. Okay, don't say we picking up that raggedy ass karmic family. Okay, so we gotta... Oh, Spirit, I'm told... Spirit, just call justice y'all call justice okay justice you gotta call justice because they've been somebody is sick a family member an old ass lady somebody a man it could be anybody okay for doing work on you to possibly slow down your money they stole your money or whatever the case may be they hiding a large lump of sum of money or whatever but these people yeah they keep your ass stuck it's a matriarch a maternal matriarch a matriarch and they always spying to see if you're moving forward or something stupid. This person or this man or woman need to get out your fucking energy, period. They so damn nosy. Stop worrying about the other person. Worry about you. That's why your ass is in the situation that you're in right now because your focus is off. You need to worry about you and what the fuck you got going on and not somebody else. That's the problem. But whoever, they obsessed with you. They obsessed the child's... But oh, so there... Okay, I'm also picking up... Since I picked that up, there is a family that's under adjudication right now. The judge is looking at the lady like she crazy and shit. Or he looking at somebody crazy. Okay, in your family. Okay. Trying to figure out... Yeah, he looking at this old ass lady. Okay. That like she crazy or this man... But now the you got either got I don't know somebody is ill and they're they're at the three of wands right now okay they're ill mm, excuse me if somebody was waiting on you to pass away with from the magic that they sent but lo and behold they ended up in the situation that they wanted you to do so the magic look that magic got backfired and ricocheted now if this has not happened it's going to happen now this is predictions of the future in the distant horizon now. So whoever watching this better stop that fucking magic because it's not hit. It's not. I'm gonna repeat. It's not hitting high vibrational or collective. It's not. Okay. Family members or ex lovers, y'all need to stop doing this magic shit. That shit is old now. Okay. You need to up come up with the updates. Don't be no goddamn surgeon going back to 1940s surgery i would never want a surgeon operating me that doesn't have any um advancement in the medicines okay the modern medicines you can't be going way back then using that old ass shit you know what i mean that's like no so somebody has not got the memo yet of the new update um we're not there back there anymore okay you need to come up a little higher with your information and um these people have they doing something in the house, child. They got they they binded themselves or something. Oh, so did they steal a house, child? Look, I didn't mean to yell at you. I love you, but look, I get excited. You got some family members or friends or somebody who has I'm heard I heard stole your identity. Okay, to get this money, and then I seen the house over here. Okay, somebody stole money in a home from you, and they about to go to fucking jail, and I hope they go to jail and hit the bottom, jail and hell, okay, and they are in a mental prison, because of what they've done over this money, okay, over this home, they are going to jail, the judge was already looking at the hole like they was crazy and shit, yeah, they wish they never stole from you. Yup, and now they wish they never did this magic. So did they try to do magic on you and then try to take like they? This is too much. Like I said, that way, of, that way of thinking wasn't gonna get it. Okay, somebody thought they was gonna get away with something. So you could have a sick family member on their way on their deathbed. Okay, and I heard you want you must have warned somebody about this this mature lady and this Gemini child. And if they went down this motherfucking path to do this fucking work. That shit was going to slow down for them and they was going to end up sick. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that, yeah. So now they ended up stuck because the magic or whatever they tried, that shit backfired. Ooh, hold, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, somebody tried to unalive you for sure or tried to say you were passed away or I don't know something. But if it's legal, the judge saw right through it. If it's spiritual, God saw right through it. And yeah, this person wants, ooh, honey, the main male is in bad health. Okay, so I don't know. Yeah, because you're this privileged lady. You're you're held in high honor. You're the official person, so to speak. You're held in high honor in the ethers. And so this person's in bad health. That's how they're realizing who you actually are. Because these people are supposed to be... They ain't smart, clearly. But they're supposed to be high ranking in whatever they do. And it's showing that their ranking is not as high like they thought, okay? I don't know. They thought you was a peony or a peon. Or peonies could have something to do with something. Yes, uh-huh. And now they want to come in and apologize. Somebody want to come in and marry you, but they're lying and being sneaky and deceptive. They're trying to escape jail time for embezzling this queen of swords money or something to do with a house and money. Somebody want to come in and um marry you okay to make it look a certain way to the judge but they going to jail anyway somebody trying to avoid going to jail i don't know what that is so you got that's what's going on in the energy you got family members that's facing jail time and or death on their sick bed okay from yeah and then you got somebody else that got they scratching between their legs and shit what the fuck the hell is going on here over money in the house. Somebody trying to... Man. And, and this is a lot of money. This ain't a little bit of money. The Ten of Pentacles is like millions of dollars. It could be like, I don't know. It could be a 100000 to millions of dollars. And they tried to keep you stuck or try to prevent you. The Scorpio energy. King of, uh, Queen of Cups energy. We got this... I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing... Whoever the air sign is, they laugh like a hyena or something like that. They cackle, jack... Something about them wanting to travel towards you, but they're being blocked by God, and they concern, honey, because they're going into poverty right now, and they need money bad, and they just really want to travel to you, and they're ill about, so either they're sick about the, I don't know, what is it? Hold on, y'all. They need to heal. Somebody is sick, though, for real, and that's their karma. They're going through karma, and they're very emotional by the, by the foolish move child so this older man okay we're going back to love now okay sorry i had to flip it just stay with me okay just go go with the ride there is an older man who was in an illusion or he feels like somebody caused an illusion over this person but this person was petty as fuck in the first place whoever this mature man is that was trying to cause illusions to you. That's a petty bia. They don't cause themselves the ten of wands. I mean, the ten of wands, a heavy burden from this ace of wands, child. They are at the nine of wands. Lord have mercy over a queen of pentacles. So either the matriarch, or Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or whoever this person is, they feel like. They thought they was going to get a new beginning with a queen of pentacles and got burnt, y'all. Like, they penis got crunched. Okay? Because they thought they was, they maybe they was not, honey, and the queen of pentacles and gave it to them, child. And they heavily burdened. They heavily burdened. They're feeling defeated. Defeated. Okay? This mature man. Honey, because look, he thought, so this was the Ace Boon Coon Gigolo. Had a lot of options, okay, Players Club. Now, this could be a woman too, men's. Don't be feeling all, you know, I'm tired of y'all. No, everybody, okay? But one of their options, who I believe was the Queen of Pentacles over here, child, and they was excited too. I was excited, thought I was falling, falling in love with you. Yeah, now that I've fallen, that bitch got burnt. So somebody got somebody burnt from one of their options, this Queen of Pentacles energy. They thought they were going to get a new beginning. So they put you in competition with uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and or Virgo. And that got called immediate judgment on. Okay. So this person has an S, T, and damn D. 
okay? And they're angry and sad because they should have held back from this person, but they didn't, okay? Now they need some strength and some courage because, honey, when you at the Ten of Wands, and this mature man is at the Ten of Wands for being petty, petty Betty, petty Betty, okay? Shit, because they worked on what it was. Look, now they slow. They got the honey. They hold. They done changed their whole life over an illusion, putting you in competition with some. Is it, is it the Queen of Pentacles? Not all of them now, but the Queen of Pentacle, honey. She the devil done showed the fuck up. The hell is this spirit? Then there's another, okay, I'm getting, child, for some of y'all others, you're going to get a, a message from a wealthy man, a Capricorn specifically, a wealthy man, okay, he just finished a court situation up or something like that, he could be in bad health at this time, child, and wanting to work with you, oh, no, don't let this, you used to know him as wealthy, you used to know him as wealthy, okay, but they're not wealthy anymore, they're sick, or maybe they're still wealthy and they're sick. And in despair. Oh, because the tables... Okay, so I don't know if... Some, for, take, stay with me. Because we done went through three storylines already. You had the ex-lover wanting to come back. Then you had the family members who's going to jail or under judgment for stealing money in a home from you. Then you got a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They done went and got burnt an STD from them somehow, somewhere. And then we got this wealthy man over here. Who wants to come back to you, but they're sick? Oh, Lord, and they want to work or they can't work. Child, they waiting, they they hoping and praying for some things to come through that's not coming through. So, I don't know what happened between Gemini and now they're concerned too, honey. Mm -hmm. They feel like you're going to go down another direction. Like, Spirit, what is this? Hold on, y'all. These cars are fell in between the thing. Oh, who? Hold on, y'all. I'll be trying to. Cause you know I ain't got no room up here. But I love you. Oh, heck no. Uh-uh, look! <laughs> this person ended a marriage. Okay? And they want to balance things out with you and heal. That's what they do. This Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or maybe they were married and their marriage ended and they needed to heal. Child, I don't know. And now somebody feeling stupid. And they concerned because they're in poverty, child, because they need money and they want to come travel to you, child, but they're sick, Jesus Christ, but they see you, oh my God, but this is their karma, that's all I can say though, justice is upside down, this is their karma, this king of wands or whoever this sex addict is, that's their karma, Whoever, yeah, they in bad health, but whatever they did, they possibly got an STD at work. Sleeping around with people at work. Yeah, somebody lost their job for sleeping around at the job, and whoever they slept around at the job with, they got an STD. And now they said, I know they're not trying to come back to you, honey. I know no, they not. And then we got an Aquarius that's concerned, child, him feeling foolish, or she feeling foolish, they, because something, they, well... Whoever, okay, so then, like I said, you got another lover in here. I don't know if it's new or old. I feel a, a newer love. They want to heal things with you, okay? Um, they want to balance things out, and they actually want to marry you. So I don't know if somebody's about to take that leap of faith. Uh, how is Gemini going to respond to all of this, Spirit? How is High Vibe Cross Watcher Gemini going to respond to the new loves. I know how you're going to respond to the old loves. You ain't having... You look... You're going to... Mm -mm. Yeah. The new love, you like hell... Oh, wow. The, somebody is angry, Gemini. They got the Knight of Swords with expectation to work on things with you. But the, the Emperor... There's a, a narcissist. I knew the devil and the Empress done... Child, look. The devil and the Empress. I mean, Emperor or Empress. However... The, the, the path that they took, child got them look like slowed the fuck down all the way. Yeah, they want to they wanna come inside your home or they want you to go. Yeah, they send a magic to your house. This person is or they towards you because you walked away from them. Yeah, I don't know. But tell us how, how is High Vibe Crosswatcher going to feel about the new new coming through? 
Because I really feel, oh, you're going to be happy. Okay, you're going to reconcile? That's what I feel. You're going to reconciliate. Okay, it's going to make you happy. The new, new. This could be a Ten of Pentacles situation as well. Okay, but this wealthy man, there is a wealthy man that left you some money in court. You're going to receive a message from the court. Okay, and that's going to change the trajectory of your life and causing you to go down another path, okay? But, uh, and, and with this new lover, it, you're going to, yeah, you're definitely going to um, reconcile with that person, okay? But you got somebody in bad health, though. You got to... Because they expected something else and it didn't go the way they thought it was going to, to go. It went down your your way. Yeah, and they're angry about it. So I don't know if this is... Actually, they just in despair. And the work that they put in to hide everything from whoever they were trying to hide it from, that magic backfired and now somebody's in bad health. I don't know. But I got to get the hell out of here. Ooh, a Capricorn is mad or there's somebody very angry because their money slowed down. So them trying to attack your money only slow theirs down this is what i'm saying treat people how you want to be treated if you don't want nobody if you don't like somebody fine don't like them that's fine okay whatever just go about your business and leave them be ain't no sense of going into the ethers and she you can't do that shit no more that's why people is about to pass away and having bad health and doing all that type of manner of things is because of the work that they did and now they all in despair about some shit because they realizing that your ass is the official person. You was always the pathway. God called your calling for it to be the way that it is. Not for them to intervene and try to change the pathway and try to obstruct or block the path that, the pathway. God will remove your ass out of the way if you continue and consider. See, God is love. God is patience. Even with the satanic negative ass energy. He will give you a chance, maybe after a chance, after a chance. But then, honey, there comes a time where God is done. And there is no amount of begging, pleading, crying, snotting, wishing, and negotiate. No, it's non-negotiable. Okay? God has already negotiated, but he didn't even negotiate. He just gave you a chance, gave you a download to be like, bitch, don't do that. Okay, pop. Because God is repetitive. He is repetitive, especially when he know you slow and dark. You might need a couple of lessons, okay? But when the lessons are gone, child, that's when death and destruction comes. So it might behoove people to move a certain way, treat people how you want to be treated. If you don't like them, don't like them, that's fine. But don't fucking go out of the way to move the pathway of their pathway, what God has set for them, okay? And if you would worry about and focus on your life the way you're supposed to focus on your life, Maybe your shit up will end up a little, uh, Spirit said, a hell of a lot better. You wouldn't be going through all these grievances and challenges and shit. Had not, because number one, some of y'all trying to put people in grievances and challenge when their pathway is meant to cause awakenings or they're going through a spiritual awakening or whatever the case may be. But then they sit here sending magic to you, but you may get a message from a court, from the emperor, from somebody from your past that you walked away from. Okay, they want forward movement. And it is somebody from your past with the Six of Cups. They spying on you and everything. They see in you're being held in high honor. You're some type of teacher, hermit, I don't know, magician, uh, Merlin, somebody that's important for the world's growth. And now this person has got an obsession. Somebody in your pockets, somebody in your money, in your pockets and every goddamn thing. They need to stay out your shit, okay? So, Jim and I, I'm going back in again. Well, this is my second one, but I know I took a long, long time. But anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they understand, okay? So, Jimmy's, I love you, and I will talk to you soon. But what else? Yeah, somebody didn't see your worth. They didn't see your beauty. They didn't see nothing at all But um, because they're too low. They were too low to see your worth. You know what I mean? Like does attract like energy and some of it doesn't. It just depends because if you're the angel of light, you're going to attract every damn thing. So it's up to you to use your discernment on what you allow into your space. Okay, if you low vibrational, you're never going to attract like, no, you might attract it for a hot split second. But by them being an emperor or an empress, they're going to see right through the bullshit from the gate. 
Okay, they might entertain you a little bit, but at the end of the day, they will cut it like OT Genesis, okay? So anyway, um, Empress... Mm-mm, mm-mm. I just don't like this. Because we got a lot of people. Like, there's a lot of people in your energy. All because you are the privileged lady. Okay, so you're going to want people that's going to be trying to vamp off your energy, coming back in for courtships, coming back in for marriages. But it's all to be a Decepticon, to keep you imprisoned and trapped, to keep you from not going nowhere. So Spirit advises that you use your intuition, Queen of Swords, male or female. Just use your intuition because your shit is lit. Don't second guess or doubt your intuition. Don't try to give people the benefit of a doubt, okay? Your intuition is your benefit of the doubt, okay? And somebody is in their head about certain things because you are extremely intuitive. You know what you know what you know, and they don't know how you know, but you know because you tapped in. And this stresses somebody out. Look, look, what's behind there? Yeah, they feel stuck. They're like, oh, my God. They can't sleep at night, child. They, I don't know what they did in the nighttime with this owl. Owl does represent wisdom, but they weren't wise or something. Look, they just thinking. They thinking like, mm, if I come in and get you knocked up and get you a baby, are they thinking about, I don't know, child, are they thinking about this baby that they done had from the third party energy that they want to come and tell you about it. And you're going to be like, hell no, this is going to change. Well, it really ain't going to change nothing because you already done made your mind up. Okay. But you got that person in the background wanting to come back to you as well to tell you that they done had something or got something or whatever. They, Child, you don't even give a fuck. You just moving on with your life, baby. You are. But somebody do want to marry you and court you. The privileged lady, all because you got money. All because you're in this privileged, you know, this elite uh, energy. It doesn't have to be so much monetary, but you're, I'm getting your 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 well known and respected by men of everywhere, whoever you are, okay. Um, but you already know that this is an energy that you cannot work out things with as well. That's how. That's why you're the empress. You're very wise. You already know. So there ain't no need to go back and forth and forth and back. This shit has been shut down, but. You, baby, on the other hand, you got good things coming to you. Anything else you want to tell the angels, Holy Spirit, the babies? You got forward movement. Just keep moving forward and keep doing what you do. Don't give up. You're balancing out the yin and the yang, your duality, okay? Um, God is proud of you. Look, yeah, he is so proud of you. You got the wheel turning in your favor, okay? You're on top of the wheel now. Lovers, Gemini, that's confirmation. That's you. Uh-huh. And you're manifesting a ten of cups. Literally, you're ma whatever is going on, you're manifesting it, Gemini. And somebody's trying to look to see if you still at the nine of pentacles. Bitch, yeah, you at the nine of pentacles. Because see, your ancestors ain't having none of that. What's yours is yours. Let no man tear apart what God puts together. So it doesn't matter if a man don't like it. It's what God say. Yeah, somebody trying to figure out how to strategize and, and tear down your damn uh, defense. They're not going to be able to do it, though. I mean, that's like going in front of a freight train. Like with your just your body, thinking you're going to stand in front of the freight train and stop it. Like you'll die. So that's why these people are sick now, Gemini. Gemini, this could be you. Shit, I hope not. But yeah. Mm hmm. I hope this ain't you. Somebody feeling left out in the cold from this love situation or the lovers or they follow somebody, a queen of wands energy. OK, out into the cold that led them away from you, Gemini. And then the other person had their own family. Child, look, that other person this queen of wands. They had their own family or something like that. Or you had a family with this person. But I'm getting that. Whoever they followed, which was this Queen of Wands, out into the cold, okay, from you, Gemini, they had their own family situation, and and then shit ended right then and there. And then that's when that person was like, oh my god, I, I, did I, yeah, you fucked it up, sir or ma'am, okay? So yeah, the tables have turned, and so now the wheel keeps on moving. And somebody is like, no, you can't. Like, they, they like, no, they're trying to stop you. That's why they doing in, doing work, but they under judgment for doing this work because they were told they was already get, they was doing too much. 
Okay, trying to equally, yeah, they want you to give to them, but the thing is, they they are not to be trusted. They're a they're they're the seven of swords energy. I saw it, you saw it too. But the seven of swords, yeah, they're too imbalanced and they're too sex driven. Too spirit say that's the truth. This this is what imbalanced them. They followed the a queen of wands out into the cold that had somebody else. Child, so anyway, Gemini, I'm out of here. I love you. Stay safe in the streets. Bye.